Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. I'm going to start with this. Crypto industry is afraid to celebrate Ripple's giant win over the SEC. That's absolutely ridiculous. Following the recent federal district court ruling part, partly in favor of Ripple against the SEC, Rebecca Reddick says she isn't on the we are so back train quite yet. But Polygon Labs chief legal and policy officer appears cautiously optimistic, saying she sees a turning tide for favorable regulatory conditions in the crypto industry. So why not celebrate the massive win? What are you afraid of, corrupt Gary Gensler? You know, we sat back in this lawsuit for two and a half years. We finally get clarity for XRP. And what do we get hit with in the crypto space? Nothing but FUD and people downplaying the win or saying get prepared for a massive appeal. You know, we got clarity for XRP. And you know what else is very big? The fact that R Brad Garlinghouse took $200 million to fight this case on behalf of the entire crypto space. And yet so many people out there are so unappreciative. You know, if Ripple did not do this, guess what? The SEC would still be shaking down company after company on a daily basis, amping up enforcement as well. This was a massive win. Get over it and either invest in XRP or get left behind. That's what it comes down to. It pisses me off because there's so many people doing this right now on a daily basis. And it's not only the Bitcoin maxis, it's other people as well. The SEC argued that the ruling which found XRP to not be a security was wrongly decided in court and has suggested that it may be preparing to appeal. Now I address this in another video. That appeal is going to take years. Where do you think XRP is going to be years from now? Sitting at a much, much higher price. Where do you think me and you are going to be years from now? Sitting poolside or beachside, sipping our drinks, and enjoying our financial freedom. Mark Cuban says, SEC refers to every buyer as an investor, but Ripple proved otherwise. Now, I usually don't agree with a lot of Mark, what Mark Cuban says, but I do agree with this. Cuban faulted the SEC's claim, saying that Ripple made it clear in its recent victory against the commission that not all buyers are investors. The prominent American said securities have only one purpose, to become security. Per Cuban, it is impossible to understand why people buy crypto assets on both centralized and decentralized exchanges. But it is possible to look at the blockchain and see that there are transactions based on the utility of the token, Cuban added. And do you know what else is great right now? We have a lot of new retail investors coming into crypto. And it's such an easy time to invest. If you get into utility-driven cryptocurrencies, cryptocurrencies that have real-world use case, they're like a sure win. You know, years ago, it was like gambling. Today, it's much different. You take some money, you invest in something that handles all the world's money or trade money or whatever the case may be, and you sit back, you stay patient, and all of a sudden, you get massive gains on your investment. And if you invest in the right way, you could end up with financial freedom. Expert projects an XRP rally to $1.40, $3.70, or $200, depending on its trajectory. I keep seeing more and more price predictions all of a sudden around XRP. And I think it's because that excitement is back around this cryptocurrency. You know, when we were sitting in the bear market, there was people calling for XRP just to break a dollar. Wow, have times have changed. Now people, I'm talking about prominent analysts, people that are right a lot of the time, calling for much higher prices for XRP all of a sudden. Top Banker says XRP cannot remain cheap long term and retail investors will be priced out. 
and at some point retail will be priced out of xrp right now is the time you want to invest it's still un undervalued it's still sitting under a dollar and look at what it's built for moving the world's money later tokenization is going to happen even pushing the price higher over time but if you sit back too long you will get priced out there's people that sit on the sidelines and i was telling them about xrp for such a long period of time i'm telling them now's the time now's when you want to invest but we're still tied up in that lawsuit i think i'm going to wait until the lawsuit ends then look what happened now xrp sitting around 80 cents and there's still people saying well now what about the appeal i'm going to wait and see what happens with that they always have an excuse not to invest in xrp the problem is, once XRP skyrockets and you get that financial freedom, they're going to be the first people saying, I wish I would have listened to you. And the next sentence is going to be, can I borrow some money from you? Just kidding. But, you know, that's what's going on. We are at the time where you either get in or you regret it later. Breaking crypto exchange Gemini teases hint of XRP relisting soon. So on July 13th, the exchange informed that it was exploring the listing of XRP for both spot and derivatives trading on its platform. Considering the ruling in favor of Ripple, it's a fr fresh hint. The official Twitter handle of Gemini commented with a thinking face emoji to a query on whether Gemini is going to relist the token or not. Why not relist XRP? On the other side, Gemini co-founder and chief executive officer Cameron Winklevoss expressed bullish sentiment around Bitcoin accumulation. He said that the great accumulation of Bitcoin began with the recent flurry of spot Bitcoin ETF filings. So, okay, you like Bitcoin. I get that. But why not relist XRP? There's way more gains to be made in XRP than there is to be made in Bitcoin. You know... This is why people need to stop being focused on one cryptocurrency. Like, I talk a lot about XRP, but I'm not just focused on XRP. I'm also focused on XLM and XDC and other cryptocurrencies as well. But some people, they see Bitcoin and only Bitcoin. I think it's time for Gemini to relist XRP. Bitcoin maxis are so afraid in full force but against better crypto, XRP. XRP is living rent-free in so many Bitcoin Maxis' heads. It is amazing how much they think about it. You know why they're thinking about XRP? Because they know what's going to come next. It's just a matter of time. XRP is going to become the number one cryptocurrency. And when that happens, watch how fast the money pours out of Bitcoin. Watch how fast retail, I'm talking not the maxis, the retail investors that were listening to those maxis. Watch how fast they run from Bitcoin. Now, somebody asked me, what about August 15th? Well, this is it right here. 44 countries ready to join and accept BRICS currency. The number of countries expressing interest to join the BRICS alliance is growing. An equal number of countries are ready to accept the BRICS currency for global trade and sideline the U.S. dollar. South Africa ambassador confirmed to Reuters on Thursday that the BRICS is receiving both formal and informal applications. And that's what's going to happen on August 15th. They're also going to re release a comment or uh, an announcement around them creating a gold-backed digital currency to compete with the U.S. dollar. But as that happens, I think the DXY is going to fall. And when it falls, guess what happens? Crypto and the stock market will start to skyrocket. It happens every single time. You see Bitcoin right up here on the top, moving upward as the DXY is moving downward. But it's not just Bitcoin. It's going to be all of crypto. And that's why I think that could be the next big catalyst for XRP as well. Ripple CTO David Schwartz raises the alarm on scam site promising a 100 million XRP airdrop. First it was Johnny Deaton and now even David Schwartz is pointing out this scam. It is literally everywhere on crypto Twitter. And you cannot be 
clicking on these scams. There's no XRP airdrop at all. And, you know, I keep seeing people say, I just lost my crypto. I just lost my crypto. Don't click on things, you know, and don't interact with the bots on this channel in the comments section either. There are scams everywhere. You need to keep your crypto safe. I stress that time and time again. Now, the next one, speculation rises for potential IPO following SEC victory. Some people are saying the Ripple IPO is the next big catalyst. Other people are saying it's the settlement, which is coming in the next six to eight weeks. Now, the settlement honestly puts us back into that fall timeline that I talked about in previous videos, because that kind of makes sense, you know, with real world events happening around the same time period. But we're going to have to wait and see. I mean, literally anything right now could send XRP skyrocketing in price. But, you know, yesterday I did a video. It was like a reassurance video to let you know that, you know, just because we didn't hit $10 in 24 hours after XRP got clarity, that we're not going upward. We are definitely going to skyrocket at some point. Now's the time to stay patient and stay focused. Maybe start planning what you're going to do with your profits from XRP in the future. Who knows? But you got to stay patient. That's the key to all of this. And along the way, I'll keep showing you how Ripple continues to grow. And XRP on the man liquidity corridors keep popping up all around the world. All the news coming right now is very good news. And, you know, it is time to celebrate. XRP got clarity. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.